What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos where we test out different weapons here in zombies in search of schematics. If you enjoy watching zombies videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Someone by the name of Dylan Day suggested an assault rifle for Modern Warfare 2, the M16. Now, it's been quite some time since I've tested this bad boy out, and since then we've tested out quite a few other ARs which performed really well, but let's see if this thing takes first place. Before we get into the build I'm using for the M16, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the Interstellar and Borealis Mastery camos, or you just want to play in easier lobbies to quickly level up your weapons and unlock camos, or if you're a zombies player just interested in unlocking all the schematics, then go ahead and check out MitchCactus.com. They have over 10,000 reviews on their Trustpilot page and are the safest and most professional Call of Duty service out there. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So the build I'm using for the M16 is as follows. We're using the X10 grip for increased sprint to fire speed and ADS speed, the Ravage 8 stock for increased sprint speed and ADS speed, the FSS Olay V laser for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed as well, for the barrel I opted for the 11.5 inch TH4 barrel for its mobility boost, and last but not least, the 60 round mag. Now that we've covered the build I'm using for the M16, it's time to bring this bad boy into the tier 3 zone to test it out, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone, as you can see. Got the M16 2 pack 3, so it's full auto now, and we are doing an insane amount of damage. We don't even have Deadshot Daiquiri on yet. Um, we did ping a bounty contract. We lost our tombstone, so we're completely out of essence. I had like 50 or 60,000 essence in there, so yeah, it's unfortunate. But we'll take this game to just spend some time in the tier 3 zone, do a bunch of contracts, and uh, start building up that tombstone again. So let's see what target we get off of this. Hopefully, it's a mega abomination. That would be great. So we can get a three plate or a large bag, and we got a mega. Nice. Beautiful. Alrighty, and he's gonna be way back there. Alright, I'll see you guys once I get there. Alright boys, we made it. We got two Mega Abominations up ahead. So we got this normal one, and our bounty target is a bit further back. So let's back it up real quick. Hit a few criticals on the Mega. There we go. We're able to destroy his face and stop that laser attack, because that probably would have downed us. <laughs> Definitely needs to play it safe until we get a large bag and a self-revive. Oh, dang. He knocked us right down. Okay. Let's actually hit a few criticals from up here. Why not? Thank you, Mega. Thank you. Good little spot. Oh, dang. Back-to-back -back laser attacks? So this spot's good. I might actually chill down here real quick. Hopefully he hits us with a few more of those laser attacks. That would be nice. Another one's coming in. Look at that. I did not know that. <laughs> okay. Let's quick kill these zombies here make our way back up there got this little retchling here kill this guy there we go beautiful a bunch of retchlings up here nice 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 all right mega abomination has about a quarter of his health bar left as you can see we're doing an insane amount of damage even when we're not hitting those criticals we're still just eating into that health bar let's back up a little bit don't want to go down from him charging into us there we go had a laser attack coming in, just destroyed another one of his faces. There we go, let's back up. Oh, need to get some distance. Nice. Beautiful. Let's get the reload real quick. Reload speed's not too bad either. Overall mobility is great too, considering it's an AR. There we go. Let's keep hitting the shots, criticals. Nice, and we got the kill. Quick and easy, got a three plate off that too, which is perfect. All we need now is a large bag, so hopefully this bounty target mega drops one for us. That would be great. If we can find him, where's he at? Hiding behind the bus or something? Ah, oh, there he is. Get a few shots on him. Get his attention. Get over here, mega. Come on. Let's quickly throw that blade again. Very nice. Take out some of these zombies while we're at it. Beautiful. Oop, laser attacks coming in. Let's quickly hit a few shots if we can. Beautiful. Oh, need to back up. Nice, nice, nice. Did not want to go down there. We do have a three plate now, so we can play a bit more risky. But of course, I don't want to waste essence by going down. There we go. 
Let's dodge that. Nice, nice. Took off almost a quarter of his health bar already, which is insane. Like, it's been a while since we've reviewed an AR that does this much damage. It's definitely one of the best. Has to be. There we go. Keep in those shots. And of course, we don't even have Deadshot Daiquiri, which is just going to improve the critical damage by a bunch. Let's get the reload. Get those critical hits in. Beautiful. More than halfway dead. And we just destroyed another face. I'm pretty sure he only has one face left. Yes, he does. Nice. Let's go there. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, Mega. One more laser attack. That's all I need. Let's actually quickly climb on top of that if we can. I'm pretty sure that's going to trigger a laser attack, I think. There we go. It worked. Works like a charm. So those great. Yeah, just look at his health bar, man. <laughs> oh my god, this gun's insane. All right, let's finish him off real quick. Yeah, come on. Just a few more shots. We're not doing critical damage either, and we just ate into the guy's health bar. Keep hitting those shots. Beautiful. So close to dying now. Probably an ether blade would finish him. No, almost. You more. Come on, there we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy. Let's pick up napalm. Why not? Got a ray gun off that. Very nice. Um, I'll actually throw a crystal on it. Why not? Self revive two and speed kill. Let's go. All right. So there's a bunch of people in the tier three zone right now. What the? Okay. Um, I'll grab the car. So if a bounty contract spawns in, I can just rush over there. Um, if we have too much trouble getting contracts because of all the competition there right now, then I'll try to get an ether or a yeah dark ether sigil and uh, make my way over there. Ooh, there's a bounty contract way back there. Let's try to rush over there. I already see that UTV going in that direction. All right, let's see if we can make it. And there we go. We got the contract. Let's see what target it gives us. And it's another mega. Nice. Let's go. And he is pretty close. All right, let's make our way over there. Let's actually make a quick stop here at the... What the hell was that? Yo, okay, never mind. I'm getting off this thing. What? So as I was saying, let's just quickly buy Deadshot and maybe Tombstone. Yeah, we Gucci, we Gucci. Let's make our way over to the Mega. And there we go. Mega Abomination is right up ahead. So let's get his attention real quick. Very nice. Reload speed is very good once you got speed killed on, which is great. Let's keep hitting those shots. Beautiful. Laser attacks coming in already. Already destroyed one of his faces. So yeah, you can see the difference now that we have Deadshot Daiquiri on. It's insane. Let's quickly back up over here. Nice. Throw that blade. Beautiful. Let's quickly pick up them bones. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, definitely took off a quarter of his health bar there. So, have to back up. Nice. It's almost halfway dead already. Yeah, this thing is insane, man. This has to be the best AR for zombies right now. Has to. It's got less than a quarter of his health bar left. Just off that one extra laser attack. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Keep hitting those shots. Come on, hit us with another laser attack, Mega. No, you want to. Come on. Let's come back here. Beautiful. Oh, he's so close to dying, man. And we're not even doing critical damage right now. Let's throw the blade, and there we go. Quick and easy. Got a large bag off that, too. Which is perfect. We're pretty much fully geared up now. Um, got an extra self revive, an epic tool, which I'll take. Why not? And a normal sigil. Beautiful. All right. I like it. Um, there's no more bounty contract here. Uh, let's maybe do the outlast contract just to get some extra essence. And there we go. Got the contract. That's going to be in the big building up ahead. Yep. All right, let's get this P&D activated. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is one of the easiest contracts in the tier three. I don't think there's that many zombies that end up spawning. I think the first zombies come in at around that 30% mark, if not more. So 
yeah pretty chill contract i'll see you guys once i completed it who got this old mangler right here start lighting him up. oh my god just look at the mangler's health bar man this gun is insane easy 10 on 10 for me i'm loving this got this mimic here now too let's quickly light him up there we go got the kill already <laughs> this gun's insane a disciple as well oh my god dude yeah definitely it gets a 10 on 10 for me um we'll probably go into the normal dark ether for uh he runs or for a few contracts once we're finished here there we go contract complete quick and easy let's see what we got off that and we got death perception phd flopper and a two plate the two plate i'll leave in there definitely don't need that uh yeah successful contract let's see if there's a bounty and there's none okay let's grab the car i'll make my way over to a buy station real quick and uh buy a few casimirs and then we can head over to the dark ether and there we go got two casimirs we still have 8000 essence which means we should still have a good amount for our next game when we load in which is good so I was just running to the portal and this raid weapon stash contract spawned in. So you know what? Let's just get that over with. An extra 5,000 essence won't hurt. And there we go. Contract complete. Got another epic tool off that. Of course, 5,000 essence. I actually never tested that gun out. I can't lie. I'll have to maybe one day take that in for zombies and just see what it does. Um... Yeah, all right, I'll make my way over to the portal. And there we go, boys, made it to the portal. Let's use our Dark Ether Sigil if it lets us. There we go. Let's accept that teleport, and I'll see you all in the Tier 4 zone. And there we go, boys, we made it to the Tier 4 zone. Got the Mega Abomination up ahead, so let's start hitting a few shots on the guy. See how quickly we take him out. Of course, the Hellhounds are going to be pretty much like an insta-kill. There we go, laser attacks coming in from the Mega. Let's hit those shots. Mega is pretty much halfway dead. Okay, no, took off about a quarter of his health bar. Yeah, this gun's insane, man. Let's throw that, quickly come back here. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's try to bring the Mega to this side here. Beautiful. Let's get on top of this gas station. That should trigger laser attacks, and it will. Beautiful. Let's hit those criticals. Two faces destroyed, one face to left very nice another laser attack and there we go got the kill quick and easy let's take out this mimic real quick beautiful no issues taking out the zombies either yeah this gun gets a solid 10 on 10 man i'm loving it all right let's see what he dropped a raw crystal uh yeah i think i'll leave that in there don't need that all good all good so if you're just here for schematics or well, we're in the tier 4 zone, so you won't find schematics, you'll find the acquisitions. So if you're here for that, I wouldn't recommend fighting off the Mega. Um, I just do that for weapon testing purposes. Just run over to this building right here, which is the Ammo Depot building. Climb on this wall, jump right into the window here, break the glass, and climb up this ladder. That's going to bring you to the rooftop. And right here, you'll find the Ether Extractor contract, so just pick that up. Jump down to this side of the building. That's going to help you avoid all the uh, elite zombies and normal zombies back there. Usually, if you're in the Elder Dark Ether, you'll actually have a Mega Abomination back there. So, uh, yeah, definitely helps to jump down onto this side. Once you make your way up this zip, there's going to be a bunch of zombies and also one or two elites. So just throw your Casimirs and uh, get this extractor disabled. Quick and easy. Once that one's disabled, run in this direction here. Um, you'll have a few zombies up ahead, so if you have an ether blade, just throw that. Once you cross this wooden bridge, you'll see the next extractor up there. So you can just throw a Casimir at the wall. That's going to bounce off and land right by the extractor and clear your path. So you can just run up here, make your way through this door, and once again, you can just disable the extractor. Super easy so far. Once you got that one disabled, climb up this ladder here. If you have extra Casimirs, you can actually get on this wall and throw one right at the extractor. That's actually going to kill everything over here and let you disable it. We don't have that, so I think Ether Shroud might work. Let's actually give that a go. Ah, uh, 
It has a check mark, but it, it bugged out. It's all good though. Let's see if we can get it without going down. Uh, we got it. Nice. <laughs> Easy. All right, let's take these guys out. Back up a little bit. Beautiful. Everything's dead and contract is complete. Let's see what's in here. An extra self revive. Um, tombstone and speed cola. I will take. Why not? And uh, the pack two crystal I'll leave in there. So once you finish out contract, you can parachute over to these stairs here and make your way onto this wall and you'll see this green bus by the road. And that's where you find the Outlast contract, as you can see. Once you pick that up, it's going to ping the PND device. So just run into this corner here and get up this zip. Make your way through these wooden doors and then take a left into this room right here and you have the PND device. So just get this activated. All you do for this contract is stay in this room. It bugged out on us there, but it's all good. So just stay in this room. If you have extra Casimirs, be sure to use those. They're definitely going to help out with clearing out zombies. Um, over time, you'll have an insane amount of zombies in here, especially if you're doing this in the Elder Dark Ether. I guess the tier 4 zone is somewhat chill, so uh, you can get away with just running in circles and, you know, you'll be fine. Just stay alive, stay in this room, and I'll see you guys once the contract's done. Alright, so the M16 is actually good enough to just fight off all the zombies while you're doing this contract. That's insane, man. Just look at this. Just ripping through everything. This gun gets a solid 10 on 10 for me. There we go. Contract complete. Most of the zombies are going to die when you complete the contract. Uh, let's see what's in there. A golden plate, an elder sigil, and speed cola, which we already have in there. Yeah, we do. Okay, so definitely don't need that. Let's quickly take out these zombies here. Beautiful. I mean, just look at how quickly we're killing that disciple. <laughs> I'm loving this gun. Yeah, so the M16 is definitely still the best AR in the game. Uh, the damage output on this thing is just insane. Mobility is great. Reload speed's really good too. Just overall a great weapon if you're in the tier 3 zone, the tier 4 zone, or even in the Elder Dark Ether. Just a great choice overall. So uh, thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to show your support to the channel, and don't forget to comment with any suggestions for future videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.